dear students this is the electric circuit consisting of battery switch bulb and ammeter is the current flowing in this circuit no how you say there is no current flowing because the bulb is not glowing so there is no current flowing in order to make the current to flow i'll switch on I'll switch hope you can see now the bulb is glowing there is flow of electric current and the current reading can be found out by the ammeter and you all know what does the battery do what does the switch do this is about the electric circuit now let us see the electric circuit of ohms law this is nichrome wire it is connected parallel to the voltmeter and nichrome wire again it is connected in series with the ammeter before our experiment we have to take one cell so let us i'll connect one cell and see the voltmeter reading as well as ammeter reading let me switch on hope you can see here the voltmeter reading is 1.2 volts and ammeter reading is 0.2 amperes v by i if i calculate what's the value i'm getting it is 6 now in the second time what i should do is i have to connect now how many cells are to connect two cells i have to increase the voltage if i increase the voltage let us see what is the current reading now it is showing around 2.4 volts in the voltmeter and the current reading is 0.4 amperes if i take the ratio i am getting it as 6 so from this observations i can understand that voltage or potential difference is directly proportional to the current means as voltage is increasing current is also increasing means it is directly proportional so only ohms stated his law called as ohms law the potential difference across the ends of a metallic wire is directly proportional to the current flowing through it then when he has taken this v by i you always saw it was constant this constant is called as resistance of the material what is resistance resistance it is the property of the material which opposes to the flow of electric current and this resistance is denoted by r and from this ohms law you can see that as the resistance increases current becomes less if the resistance is doubled current will be half to change the resistance in the circuit we make use of a device called as rheostat this is the rheostat you understood children this experiment thank you children